Thank you. And our, our last uh, speaker in this first portion of the, the panel is Mr. Thomas Wu, Managing Director from Hopewell Holdings. Okay, thank you. I, I guess I have five minutes, and um, actually a lot of the grounds have been covered by the previous speaker, so it would make it even easier. I don't have a slide, but um, I'll be quite quick. Um, we're involved in both uh, residential and commercial buildings, so we, uh, uh, Hopewell Holdings, we provide a uh, services uh, to lifestyle of Hong Kong citizens. Now, uh, regarding charging points, I think that's where we get involved most, is um, um, as the speakers have said, uh, the Hong Kong government is taking the lead and uh, we're following in building the infrastructure. And uh, it's true that today's usage uh, of the electric vehicle charging station uh, is uh, rather low because of the low number of vehicles, but we expect this uh, to increase. So again, it's a chicken and egg problem, and uh, the government is encouraging the uh, existing buildings as well as uh, future buildings. Now, on the charging points, I think some of the issues that might be interesting is that uh, what is the technical standard for the charging station? Um, at the Hobart Holdings, we have installed uh, something like 40 charging stations in uh, different buildings, uh, ones that we own and, and uh, some of the ones that we manage. Um, and uh, what we have done was uh, just a standard wall socket unit. Uh, that means the ones that, uh, that are similar to ones you have at home. But uh, if the uh, you know, uh, high-speed charging uh, stations are to be uh, installed, then uh, we would uh, have to wait until a standard comes out. Uh, apparently, the Europeans are working on one standard, and then different manufacturers are different. I uh, think about different strategy on, strategy, strategies on that. So if you can imagine, um, you know, just like if you go travel, you have uh, different charging devices, and uh, that might not be very good for uh, promoting the uh, use of electric vehicles. So uh, that's something that we look uh, towards to have uh, more uh, of an industrial standard or at least some uh, common ground before uh, this can be uh, further, further promoted. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, the other thing uh, already brought up by the Under Secretary was that uh, um, for buildings, actually, uh, it's easier for new buildings uh, to install uh, uh, the, the, the chargers in place or wholly owned buildings um, because the ownership title, both for uh, you know, approval and, and risk management, as well as uh, with the recovery of the charging uh, electric, electricity charging costs. Uh, because of the regulation, and we understand this um, recovery part is being reviewed by the by the government. But uh, for example, we have one residential building we just completed this year, and um, it was before we completed the building, we were able to put in uh, the charging stations before we started selling the units, and uh, that would make it easier. If we started selling and there are different ownership, uh, you can imagine uh, the approval system and, and uh, a whole host of other issues. So, um, you know, it, I am sure that in the future there will be more new buildings that have the charging stations, but we also have a lot of buildings in Hong Kong, um, and we have to figure that out to make it more efficient for both private residential buildings and commercial buildings. You know, you, may, you can imagine offices and shopping malls, for example, to have charging stations. Um, and uh, the last thing would be that uh, we need to get the message out. Um, because uh, you know, if you drive on the street and look for some place to park with a charging station, you may not find out uh, whether the building has a charging station or not. And with that, uh, we're working with the with the government and the, with the steering committee uh, to promote electric vehicles. Um, and also, uh, besides having signs outside the building, um, online strategies and, and other promotion strategies, uh, branding, etc., so that people would know where um, the uh, charging points are. Um, and I think this would also uh, enhance the usage uh, this is in the future. So thank you.